On this week's Catch and Cook, we're making beer battered redfish and onion rings, also known as heart attack on a plate. It's really good. Let's go see what we can catch. But what I decided to do was tie in this new jig head that one of my subscribers, uh, Tom, told me about. And uh, I'll put the information below, but you can see what a nice jig head that is. And I've got it on a root beer colored DOA cow. And I also tied it on with a loop knot, a simple loop knot. I use the Mickey Mouse ear loop knot is what I call it, but uh, I'll put another link to a video that shows you how to tie that in case you haven't tied it. Just trying that out for a little bit. Whatever loop knot you try, make sure that the tag end points toward the bait. That way it won't get snagged as you're, as you're retrieving it. Interestingly, these, uh, these jig heads are made in Stewart, Florida. I think the company's name is called Charlie's. Again, I'll put all that information down there. But it is the painting on those jig heads. The paint detail is just beautiful. And it's shaped much like a DOA cow. It's got a little point on the top of the head that's not like the DOA cow, I don't think, but just like the jig heads that I use. And uh, they're much, much cheaper made here in Florida. I'm gonna have to try those out if they work out. Looks like the sun might be starting to peak up a little bit. That's just a little gateway. Did I get one? Got one guys, got one, fish on! <laughs> ah. Definitely a redfish. Fish on, fish on. Woo, oh yeah, nice redfish. Nice redfish. Got one right at the, he's tugging me around too. Woo, don't, there we go. Yeah, nice redfish. Get on my pedals. This guy's. My drag's a little tight for him. It's like a keeper. We're gonna try to snag him quick here. There he is. Come on back. Caught him on the new, new bait combination. And he is fighting. There we go. Fish on. Nice redfish. Woohoo! All right. Let's stake out now that we got him. Nice redfish right here at the mouth. Boy, that's a big one. Perfect eating size. Let's get you on the fish grips. I think he turned back on the bait and it twisted around his head, so that's why he was fighting pretty viciously. Yeah, nice redfish. Got him under underneath the gill. There we go. Ooh, yeah. There we go. There's our fish. Definitely gonna be a nice keeper. Nice blue tail. Beautiful fish. Healthy. Put him on the board. See what we got. It's hanging out right in this current here. Looks like about a 20. That's a perfect eating size, maybe a 21. Let's see. Put your nose up there. He is 22, 22 inches. Perfect eating size. He is 22 inches, 22 and a quarter inches. And caught him on our new bait. Kind of tore it up a little bit, but nice jig head there. 22 and a quarter inch. Redfish, beautiful specimen. We're keeping one today. This is the one. So I'm gonna clean them up and I'll be right back. Well, you just saw me change things up because you can tell uh, I can't throw top water in this kind of chop. And so I switched to a different bait, tried a new jig head that uh, one of my subscribers uh, gifted me. Tom, very nice, on a loop knot. And it's just like a DOA cow jig head. And that just landed the 22 
and a half inch redfish that, that you just saw me catch. So thanks a lot, Tom, for the uh, good advice there. It certainly is a nice jig head. It works just like the DOA cows. And although I haven't seen the price yet, he says that you, it's about half the price of a DOA cow. In fact, that more than half is what he told me. So that might be our new jig head. parts flour and beer. Whatever beer you like, it's the best beer to use. But it's just equal parts flour and beer, and that's it. It's as simple as that. After you mix those together, you need to leave it in the refrigerator for about two hours, and then it'll be ready to use. I also add in some of the seasoning that I'm going to be using on the fish, like this Tony Cheshire's Original Creole Seasoning a little bit of cayenne pepper, and that's it. That's all I use. So first, let's make our batter. I've already put a cup and a half of flour right here in our bowl, which is 12 ounces, and this beer is 12 fluid ounces. So all we do is mix it in. And you'll notice that it has a chemical reaction. It's that chemical reaction that you want to see. There it is. I then add oh, a generous amount of seasoning, whatever I'm going to use on the, the redfish itself. That's what I put in. And we're going to make the redfish first. So a little bit of cayenne pepper and my seasoning. So you just mix that in. You don't have to mix it up a lot, but you'll see it'll get kind of creamy and a little bit thick. And that's what you want. You want that to be just a little runny and thick. That's pretty much the perfect batter. Now, I'm hungry. I don't want to wait a couple hours. So I'm going to throw this in the freezer while I wait for my oil to heat up to temperature, which is 375 degrees, and while we cut our onion. Now we're gonna do our onion. So just a plain old yellow onion uh, works best, and you peel as much skin off as I can before I cut it into rings. You just cut your rings and separate them and you want the onion to be about no more than a quarter inch thick or else it won't cook all the way through. And you end up with a pile of onion rings. Onion rings ready to go. Now for our fish. And for the fish, it's just a, I've cut the fish into simple fillets. I do have a throat, but I'm not going to use that uh, in this particular recipe. So you just kind of pat down or can dry it off with a little paper towel. So for the redfish, first thing I do is I season it. And I just put a generous amount of this Creole seasoning all over the redfish on both sides. Now this seasoning is the same seasoning that I used in the beer batter as well. Except for in the beer batter, I actually added a little bit of cayenne pepper. So now that my fish is seasoned well, I just kind of pat the seasonings in 
and then I let them sit for at least 10 minutes. So now that my fish has been seasoned and I've let it sit for 10 minutes, I just cut it into strips. And I usually make some chunks, just bite-sized chunks if you will, maybe uh, grab-sized chunks. So now my fish is seasoned, cut into bite-sized chunks, made sure all the bones are out, and it's ready to go. So far we've got our oil, it's all heated up. We've got our onion rings, we've got our fish. So here's our batter. You can either use a fork or you can use tongs or both. I, I tend to use both, but I take, I fork the fish and then I just coat it well. And you'll see that this is a thick coating. I wipe it off on the sides as best I can and then I drop it in. And you don't want this thing really popping and sizzling. You want the fish to cook. These are pretty thick planks of fish. Nice red fish. And when you drop it in, it's good to move it. Just kind of sweep the fish through the oil. It makes sure that it, uh, the coating stays on that. Hmm, this is starting to smell good already. It usually takes a minute or two for the fish to get fully cooked, but all I'm looking for is to make sure the, the crust on the fish is brown. Okay, you can tell the fish is cooking. Turn it over, rotate it a little bit. And all you want is you want enough oil in the pan that this fish floats. Next up, onion rings. Yummy. Essentially, with the onion rings, we do it the same way. We take the onions, we dip it in the batter, we shake off any excess, we drop it in. We just cook those for a few minutes until they're golden brown. The color is what really tells you if the cooking process is complete. And now we're gonna just do the same thing with our onion rings as we did with our fish. Now with our onion rings, I tend to just drop handful or so in the batter and then I fork the batter around on it just to get, get it coated. As soon as you have it coated, it goes in your oil. So our onion rings get the same treatment. There it is, beer battered redfish and onion rings. Now I like mine with some deli mustard and probably like everyone else, a little bit of ketchup. I always drink the beer that I made the batter with along with the meat. That's it. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Beer battered redfish and onion rings. I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you next week on Kayak Fishing Addict on YouTube.